Hey, what's going on? I want to make a quick video for the forums um, on YouTube about Show Express in the live mode and Windows 8 touchscreens. Uh, I got this touchscreen this week from my photo booth, and when I started playing with it, I noticed how responsive it was. Um, as you see, the keys are very responsive. And I figured I would give it a try with Show Express in the live mode. Um, I was hoping it would work the way I was assuming it would work, but unfortunately it does not. So I want to see why and uh, maybe Show Express and Chauvet could do something about it in the future. I use a MIDI controller right now. Um, so when I have in my full show, this is not my full show, this is just a few scenes. Um, it kind of gets hard to remember what button does what on the fly and trying to remember and teaching other people what button does what, what triggers what. Um, so as you can see with the, um, with the touch screen, it's quite responsive over here when I use a regular button. But for those who have seen my light shows, I love to use flash buttons, which is this. That means for those who don't know, if you trigger the button, it stays on. You release, it turns off. So this one, you press it, it stays on, press again, turn off. This one should be pressed in and then release, turns off. But as you can see, it barely works. It's not responsive compared to, compared to that. Same thing with the keyboard. I got the S key to to the first non-flash button, very responsive. A key to the flash button, doesn't work at all. So I wanted to show this to you guys who don't understand what I'm saying, but it doesn't work well. And um, hopefully Show Express and Chevet could do something for the uh, new release of Show Express, or make, maybe make an, like, an update. Um, it's gotta be something with the software. It can be with the touch screens, because um, as you can see, very responsive. And uh, for those of you who use like a tablet or um, iPads, let me know if that's the same case with that, because I would like to try it. Um, like I said, it works good with regular buttons, triggering scenes. And the only reason I want to go this way is because I could see the names of the scenes versus on the MIDI controller, I can't. So then after a while, if you don't use the lights, you forget what to do with what button. So, um, so that's it.